There are three uh, ways to get rid of DOAX, to act on absorption, to act on the, on the mechanism of action, and to act on elimination. Let me focus first on charcoal. Charcoal is uh, <coughs> acting on absorption. In these 18 uh, uh, healthy volunteers uh, treated with apixaban, 20 milligram, which is a quite high, high dose, uh, 50 grams of activated charcoal uh, were given either two hours or six hours after the apixaban dose. And charcoal was able to decrease the mean elimination of life of apixaban from 13.4 uh, uh, hours down to five hours. And uh, charcoal may be very effective pending you give it uh, in uh, uh, six hours interval. The second way to act, maybe the most popular and the most effective for the moment, is an, a kind of indirect, indirect uh, uh, antidote. It's a, a PCC, performing complex concentrates. In this systematic review of small case series, Pyran and co-workers have uh, added 340 patients who received PCC for direct factor 10 a inhibitors uh, related major bleeding. And uh, these patients uh, were treated with a PCC with a dose around 25 units per kilo. And the pool proportion of patients with effective management of major bleeding reached 69% using the ICH criteria and even uh, uh, 77% in age studies that did not use the ICH criteria. The death toll was quite high, 16%, and the uh, thromboembolism rate was low, 4%. Please keep this 4% in mind. But unfortunately, uh, we have a very low certainty in, in these uh, single arm case series. So it, it was difficult to determine whether a, a trial uh, um, a four factor PCC, in addition to cessation of uh, the treatment, was more effective than the cessation alone, of course. Two specific antidotes are available. First one is hydrosuzumab, which is a fully humanized monoclonal antibody fragment, uh, which is acting directly on uh, the bigatron. Uh, its uh, uh, affinity uh, is uh, uh, 350 times stronger than its affinity for thrombin. It's very, very effective. And in this uh, study, the reverse AD study, you may see that after a bolus, uh, an IV bolus of uh, hydrosuzumab, uh, the uh, diluted thrombin time uh, in patients with uncontrolled bleeding or in patients supposed to undergo emergency surgery was controlled for 24 hours. So this drug was acting for one day with a full control on uh, uh, the plasma concentration of dabigatron, no more plasma concentration of dabigatron, and even the activated partial thromboplastin time was controlled. The uh, efficacy was quite uh, good in the group of bleeding patients. Uh, the median time to the cessation of bleeding was 2.5 hours, and in group B, uh, for uh, patients scheduled for procedures, periprocedural hemostasis was assessed as normal in a uh, 93% of the patient uh, uh, within 1.6 hours. The uh, thrombotic toll reached 6% in the first group and 7% in the second one, and the mortality rate was quite high, just below uh, 19%. The second one is Andexanet Alpha for anti 10 a agent. It's a recombinant factor 10A with no gladomen and a catalytic activity. It inhibits direct and indir uh, indirect anti 10 a agents. It acts almost immediately in two or five minutes, but half-life is very short, as you may see on this figure. Uh, if you give a bolus after one hour, uh, the level of, uh, uh, of uh, plasma anti in in apixaban-treated patient or rivaroxaban-treated patient is back to control as compared to control in black here and, and red, the uh, uh, indexanet-treated patient. Only if patient receive a, a continuous infusion, a two hours uh, continuous infusion after a bolus, you will control the uh, anti level in both group for two hours, but then you go back to um, the control. In uh, the full uh, study report of Annexa 4, the only large study 
uh, including at the beginning 352 patients, but only 254 were assessed. They were treated with uh, either apixaban or rivaroxaban, and they received 400 or 800 milligrams of andexanet followed by a two hour uh, uh, infusion. And uh, the, the bleeding was predominantly gastrointestinal or intracranial. And have a look to the definition of intracerebral hemorrhage. An increase, not a decrease, an increase in a volume of 20% or less from baseline at both one hour and 12 hours after infusion was considered uh, to be excellent hemostasis, not a decrease, an increase. Whereas an increase in the volume of 35% or less was considered uh, uh, to be good. Well, even with this very positive definition of bleeding, the results were not that great, only 82% were con considered as excellent or good, and there was a very high thrombotic even uh, 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 toll, and the death toll reached 14%. This may, uh, drug was approved by FDA, but with a boxed warning for thromboembolic risk, ischemic risk, cardiac arrest, and sudden death. Um, stating that the treatment with the agent has been associated with serious and life-threatening adverse events, including arterial and venous thromboembolism, even cardiac arrest, sudden death, and ischemic events such as myocardial infarction and ischemic strokes. And when comparing uh, four-factor PCC, hydrocyzumab and indexanet, if the death toll is quite co comparable in this uh, 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 meta-analysis, uh, the effective hemostasis was also quite comparable, but the, the formal embolism uh, rate was almost doubled in the indexanet alpha group. So my take-home messages for the reversal of DOACs is that there is a, a, a trade-off between the bleeding risk and the thrombotic risk. For an emergency procedure, shark oral uh, within six hours could be effective. I don't have the time to develop on dialysis, which is only dedicated and possible for dabigatron. And we also have PCC and hydrocyzumab, but we have still some, que some questions on the use of the antidotes. A reversal of DOACs has been underestimated by industry. We have some reassuring data on PCC, very few data on activated PCC. Uh, the use of hydrocyzumab has to be restricted to severe bleeding, and we don't have any serious idea of the side effects. And uh, I would recommend PCC for anti tenant agent for the moment while awaiting for specific antidote. I'm not sure that Andexanet Alpha and Serapa on tag, no time to talk about that, are the best one for the moment. Thank you for our attention.